climbing's changed a lot for me ever since I started. As a teenager and in my early 20s, I didn't always feel like the most comfortable climbing and like being in that community. As a gay man, I always kind of felt like I maybe didn't belong and I wasn't sure if I would be accepted if I was open about being gay. And at that time in my life, I also just wasn't out publicly either. So it was, I was hiding that a lot in my life. And so climbing didn't feel like a safe space to share that. <laughs> I was quite excited when Stephanie uh, sent me Patrick's application. I could tell intuitively from reading that application that, that it would be a good fit. Before I even got halfway through, I was like, oh yeah, this, this is the guy I'd like to work with. But before they reached out to him to you know let him know um, that he had been accepted and gotten paired up with me, I messaged him on his Timber and Grit Designs account. I remember just being like, why is Jordan Cannon fault? Like, how did he hear about this? He wrote just saying like, I think your art's cool and I would love to hire you to make some art. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe this has nothing to do with Scarpa and he's just like found my art. He responded to that with a text message coming out to me, which was like, absolutely, I was just like, what the hell is happening? And I actually started crying. A big part from his application that resonated with me was a question, what professional climbers do you look up to or identify with, particularly in the SCARPA program? And he said none because he doesn't relate to any of them. And I thought that was such a bummer because surely I knew he would relate to me. I had never seen someone like me before as a pro rock climber and I was like, holy shit, there's a gay pro rock climber and he's my mentor. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, I can help him with his climbing, and maybe he can help me at this pivotal moment in my life trying to figure out my identity and own it for the world. I have been out for a long time. I'm almost I'm like eight years older than him, which is also funny that I'm being mentored by someone who's eight years younger than me. But it's been really cool to be able to share my experience and knowledge around being out and what that means. And, and also my experience with like my own personal journey through that, I think um, has been helpful for him. And I've been able to mentor him in that way. So it's been really interesting that we're kind of both mentoring each other. I've been helping Patrick mainly in his climbing and within the outdoor industry, you know, trying to make connections and, and helping him make his business goals a reality. Out in the Wild is a program that teaches technical skill courses um, in rock climbing. The idea is to offer a safe and comfortable space for the LGBTQ community to be able to learn technical skills um, and not feel uncomfortable or afraid to be themselves in that space um, and give them the confidence to step out on their own and go to the crag and feel like they can be there and no one's going to judge them for who they are or their skill level so that they can be confident to just get out there and do rad stuff. He wants to make a difference and he wants to, to help provide you know, the kind of community that wasn't there when, when he got into climbing. The main thing that compelled me to, to come out to the, the climbing world publicly was, you know, largely for, largely for myself, I felt like it was the next step I needed to do to, to, to really own it and not feel like I was hiding a part of myself. But then for the people like Patrick in climbing, you know, wanting to have somebody um, similar to them to look up to. I, I came out not long after working with Patrick. He mainly helped me by just setting an example of somebody who's been out and climbing for a long time. I'm a unicorn. Look at that. Wait, if I get it in the sunlight, let it glisten. Look at that gold. 
The ways that I've been mentoring Jordan have been around him being out as a gay man in a very public way because he's a public figure and just what it means to be an ally and an advocate for the community and mentoring him on what the journey of accepting yourself as a gay man and being out how that looks and feels and just relating my experience to him. A place like Smith Rock, these shoes are actually, you guys like my custom shoes, they say. The rope cannon, <laughs> little rainbow flag on them. My friend made those for me. Not that long ago, it was, you know, coming out would be seen as a career ending move and could be dangerous. And so thankfully that, that hasn't happened. So I believe at least in the climbing world, I think we're beyond that fear of making a move like that being career threatening in any way. How does that feel? It feels like I chose the right career. <laughs> I, I think that I feel like I'm finally at a place in my life where I can really put myself out there and, and take more risks when it comes to my dreams and goals with Out in the Wild. And I feel like I have a support network and community that believes in me. This program has really helped me to feel more confident in that. I just feel seen.